Okay, guys, what I'd like to do is just ask you tactically, uh, when you're in the defensive line, um, what are you thinking about um, when you're lining up to defend? To sit on the inside shoulder to push him out. Going for the inside shoulder to push him out, great. Uh, line speed, getting up in their face. Yep, great. Just talking to your insides, so they know what you're doing, you know what they're doing. Great. To get a chop smash in the tackle, so one of your teammates going low, one going high. Cool. Uh, come here as a line with your teammates, just so you know it's not a jagged line. Great. Uh, watching their hips to see which way they're going. Yep, good. Meeting them. Meeting them. Okay, so getting into that space. Cool. Uh, keeping the communication between your fullback and wingers because they analyse the other team and the forwards and the backs moves. Awesome, I'll come back to that shortly. Um, watching the opponent in front of you and not where the ball's going. Awesome, yep. Looking forward, um, looking for the cues. All awesome answers. I just want to reflect and just combine your two answers. Um, so tactically, you haven't even made the tackle, you haven't got off the line yet. So tactically what you can control are your connections with the person inside you and the person outside you. Okay, you can get clarity on who you're on. So by asking the person inside you who they're on, then you can get clarity on who you're on. Okay, and with that connection and that clarity, then I reckon you get certainty. You get really certain, you get really clear on who you're on, then you can take the space, get up, um, you can give them one way to attack and force them somewhere and then you're in control of that tackle. Okay, the first part um, that I want to talk about um, as our defender, um, before the ball's even out, is just getting our alignment on our attacker. Okay, so we talked about communicating with the person inside you. Um, I've got the ball here. That'll give you the clarity that you're on that person there. Okay, what I want to have a look at now is our alignment to that person, where we're lining up before the ball's even come out. So what I want to teach today is just inside alignment. And what that would mean is inside the attacker's shoulder, inside this, this shoulder here, their inside shoulder. So we're lining up inside that. Okay, so our footwork um, is ready to go. Why is it important to have it like that? Is because we want to go forward first. Okay, so we're on the offside line here. We've got to go, be able to go forward first. Okay, if our feet are facing in this way, we're going to take step that way. If we're flat-footed, we could go sideways or, or back. We want to be able to take that, that step forward first. Okay, so we've got our alignment. You're happy with that on the inside shoulder. You're pointing. You can see the man that you're after. Okay, so tactically, um, one of you spoke about taking the time and space. So we can do that when the ball's in the air. So when the pass is in the air, we can take the time and space and come forward. Okay, if we just go back. So we're happy with our alignment. He's only really got one way to run. Okay, so if we just pass, come forward, that step forward, and we get into that space there. Good stuff, boys, right to the ground. Okay, what I commonly see is people getting square and coming forward to pass, coming forward, and then they're unsure where that person runs, so they end up doing that. So I think a couple of you talked about planting. Some of you were really positive in your, in your um, language and you wanted to be on your toes. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got our alignment. Give them one way to go. So just pass the ball one way, and that way I'm controlling the space. As an attacker, they want to run to the space, and I want to control that as a defender. Okay, so just go again. So inside alignment. So if you step back, where are you going to go now? If you step back, you're going to go straight into where I'm strong. Okay, if you go open, and I can see that, still going to run into a strong shoulder. Okay, it's by giving them one way to go. Okay, so we've got our alignment. Where are you looking? Where do you want to be looking? At his core. At his core. So what does that mean? Stomach? 
Okay, fantastic. Stomach and hips anywhere through that region there. So that's the biggest part of our body and it moves the least. So that's a great place to be looking. Feet can go anywhere, hands can go anywhere, head, lots of movement there. But if we just keep focusing, get our alignment, keep focusing on their core and on their hips, and you can point and you can come forward. So just walk into that space. Okay, pass, just hold. Still looking at their core. Great, so if we go forward, where should we be looking at the core once we get into that last few steps? Just go back. Where should you be looking? Where do you want to be? You're looking at that side, in the middle, on that side? Uh, in the middle. Okay, in the middle. Great, so looking at there the whole way through, keep coming forward. Okay, hold there. Where do you reckon he could be looking? Why? Yep, keep driving through. Just go back. When do you want to dip? Right before impact. And before, so if you dip now, come forward. And if you keep looking down and he changes direction, can you see that happening? No. Okay, great. So just as you're dipping, I see a lot of people dipping and putting their head down and eyes down as well. Okay, so we want to keep our eyes up and keep looking forward. So if you keep looking at that hip, that core, just walk in, dip, and keep your head up, head up, head up, head up, great. So what can he see? He can see late movement, late changes, um, and he keeps his eyes on the target where he wants to hit. We've covered our alignment, giving them how many ways? one way to go. Okay, so the attacker can only go one way.